Nipo na moja kati ya wachambuzi wa michezo uh, wanao kubalika sana hapa nchini Tanzania jina lake ni Cotinho. Uh, hilo ndio jina lake ambalo unamfahamu vizuri zaidi. Hmm. Mpaka lile jina lako la, la shuleni ni Cassius. Cassius. Uh, kama wakiliki mzee. Yeah, ni Cassius. Yeah, yeah, babangu alinipa kutoka. Cassius. Yeah, babangu alinipa kutokana na rafiki yake. Eh. Alikuwa ni priest. Uh, ah, okay. Kwa alivondoka ni kama kama kumhona mm. akaamua um, akamwambia mwanangu tamuita jina lako. Kwa hiyo ndo nika, nikapewa jina la Nikasius. Nikasius uh, na Nikasius ya Gwanda. Agwanda. Eh. Kutoka Lexon. Ya yeah, Lexon. Sengerema moja hiyo. No, Sengerema nimesoma. Ah, ah lakini wapi? Na nili mimi ni mjaluo kabisa. Ah we ni luo luo yeah, man. Yeah. Ah, okay Agwanda. Sawa sawa. So uh, continue. Niko naye hapa. Kuna mengi sana kuzungumza hapa. Kikubwa kabisa amefanikisha kuleta kitu kikubwa kwa upande wa basketball hapa nchini Tanzania kinaitwa Seed Academy yeah, ama Seed Tanzania. Yeah, Seed Tanzania. Seed Tanzania. Tatueleza ni kitu gani lakini hiyo itakuwa ni baadaye. Kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mimi na hamu sana ya kuweza kusikia akitueleza. Skywalker ndio jina langu tuwe pamoja kwenye safari hii. Um, ongera kwanza kwa uh, safari nyingi. Kipindi cha corona na juu hujasafiri sana lakini before hapo mm. ulikuwa ni mtu wa flight sana. <laughs> yeah, na ni, ni na, mara nyingi ni kwa sababu ya NBA. Mm. Uh, nilijenga ukaribu nao kuanzia mwaka 2017. Uh, nimefanya kazi zao nyingi kwa hiyo mostly nilikuwa kwa mwanzo nilikuwa the only accredited journalist Tanzania. Uh, nadhani bado ni the only accredited journalist Tanzania kwa yeah. NBA. Na East Africa I'm the only nadhani yule ambaye ni yani confirmed. Wapo wengine huyu anakuja anatoka kutokana na interest zao lakini nadhani hata kwa East Africa uh, ukitaja ni Cassius ndio jina ambalo ni like a stronghold kwa upande wa media na NBA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na nimeona ukihudhuria uh, press conference kubwa za mm-hmm. NBA mm-hmm. na sio tu kuhudhuria na kuuliza swali, mm-hmm. swali konki kabisa. Mm-hmm. Mara ngapi umeshae kuhudhuria hizi press zao? Mm, nimehudhuria nyingi lakini ambazo nilifanikiwa kuuliza maswali ni mbili. Uh-huh. Ambayo moja ilikuwa Ufaransa, ambayo lakini ambayo ilikuwa maarufu zaidi ilikuwa ni ile ya Stephen Curry ambayo ilikuwa ni Los Angeles. Na nakumbuka it was a very good experience kwa sababu kwanza unajua ukiwa pale hata wao wenyewe they love it kwa sababu wanajua that's how they grow their market. Kwa hiyo nimekaa pale yule na nili unajua lafudhi tu mtu anajua mm, usio hapa. Kwa hiyo uh, kuna yule wakati wanapanga panga kaniuliza uh, unatokea wapi nikamwambia Tanzania uh, East Africa na ukitaja wanakuuliza Zanzibar Yeah, yeah. Zanzibar is very popular. Yaani Zanzibar kwa nje ni maarufu kuliko Tanzania. Kwa hiyo kutokana na experience yangu. Kwa hiyo anakuambia yeye hey, come to Zanzibar na nini. Kwa sasa baada ya organization zote watu washaka waandishi, akanifata kabisa akamwambia, "Do you want to ask a question?" Kaambia, "Yeah." Na ilikuwa ni first experience. Uh, Ananiletea unajua t- Stephen Curry yule pale. Unajua uh, iko live NBA TV. So watu wote marafiki zangu wale ambao kutoka Afrika na sina wale wengine ambao ni mwatengeneza nikiwa kule unajua wapo kwenye uh, viewing room nyingine so wanashangaa nimeekewa mike mimi nimeshangaa na natoka pale baada ya kuuliza swali nakuta rafiki zangu kama kumi na tano wako nje hey you you on NBA TV you are star now and I'm like oh <laughs> yeah so it was a very Big nice deal, experience yeah, yeah, yeah. na baada ya pale uh, step akakubali nikapiga naye picha um, na then that's the best uh, NBA game kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mara ya kwanza ina Marekani ikawa ndo mara ya kwanza anapiga picha na Steph mara ya kwanza LeBron na, na katika vitu najutia ndio mimi nilikuwa ga mtu Android sana bwana kwa hiyo nimechukua ndo mara ya kwanza na iPhone LeBron yuko na wanaye yule Bryce na na na, na, na Bron amepita kwenye pembeni yangu nikapiga naye selfie sasa kupiga selfie kumbe nimeruhusu <laughs> flash ya mbele sasa ile picha kumbe nilikuwa hata sijui kama naweza kuedit ah. nikao nimetoka vibaya nika delete baada ya mtu ndo unanili like a month anambia no go to your deleted na nili tafuta mimi yani nakuta siku ananiambia mm. ndio ile siku sasa hey, ndio imezimeondoka kwa sababu niliyokuta imebaki ni ya kesho yake yani baada ya baada ya ile i was so mad ile picha yani would have been a memory iwe ni mbaya siku hata na wazani ni ndugu yangu lakini nadhani ile ndio the best NBA game ambayo nisha nisha attend kutokana na experience niliyopata by the way mm. uh, yeah lakini nyingine nyingine ni semeni NBA Africa kwa sababu mimi am so pan african 
uh, zia game da NBA Africa Games kwa sababu nilipata nafasi ya kutana na Thierry Henry a uh, legend wa Arsenal na nilikuwa natembea naye hivi. Mm. I am like these guys wakiwa kwenye wakiwa huko kwao kumpata yani upige naye picha nini ngumu lakini tupo kwenye NBA ameshatambuisha kwamba oh, this is our guy na nini. Kwa hiyo nipo natembea na wachezaji wa NBA na uh, Thierry Henry akaja pembeni yangu. Tuko mimi Thierry na jamaa jamaa anacheza Atlanta Hawks sasa hivi. Uh, tunatembea hivi pamoja. <laughs> Unajua kuna ile feeling na pata goosebumps hivi. Huyu ndio star anafungaga magoli, alitufunga Liverpool goli moja baraka sana. Na, lakini yeah, hiyo ni conversation na yeye nilimuoji na kumbuka uh, nikamfanyia interview. So, I will say hizo mbili they are memorable kwa sababu I had that personal experience ya kukaa jirani kuona. Lakini yeah, lakini at the end of the day zote zimekuwa nzuri na those manifestations hapa nilipo. Steve Curry, LeBron James, uh, Theanis, Janis mm, yeah, Santin. Janis ni mmoja wa Ufaransa. Au ni mmoja naye. Na ilikuwa live yeah, in yeah, TV. Yeah, Kiingereza chake naye bado kiko kigumgumu sana. He's ani. proud though. Mimi yeah, yeah. najua wachezaji wengi wa wa Afrika mm. uh, ambao wapo NBA, they are proud to represent Africa. Mm. Yaani Janis ni ana represent Ugiriki lakini never takes out aje kutoa ule unaijeria wake. Ni kama umsikie Victor Ladipo ni kazaliwa kabisa Marekani lakini unaijeria yake hajai kuacha. Na ndio maana wakipoga mialiko ya kuja Afrika kwenye hizi NBA Africa game labda kama wewe na commitments lakini wani faster. Uh, na Africa representation kwenye NBA is huge. Na wanafanya makusudi ujue. Kwa sababu they know Africa is the biggest market that's coming up. Na ndio maana hata wameleta Basketball Africa League mm. ambayo ni iko chini ya Madugalo ambayo ni, ni ile ni brand NBA kwa sababu Jola Nike ndio wanazalisha jezi ESPN ABC ndio wanarusha live ndio maana uliona Jay Cole anakuja nini mm-hmm. they doing it purposely kwa sababu uh, Africa kwanza it's uh, by 20 uh, f- uh, na 2050 uh, na 50 we gonna double this population wenze tu sasa hivi wana wana, wana minimize hawazaliani oh, sana, sana. sana. Uh, lakini sisi <laughs> tunaenda kuwa double ya ya ya, ya, ya hapa tulipo kwa hiyo manake hapo mimi ndio utakuwa niko kwenye mai 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 Mungu akinijalia maybe my 50s mm. yani ndio labda ndio nimeingia miaka 50 i don't know lakini itakuwa ni ni, ni kitu kikubwa ki, ki, ki kwa hiyo wana wenzetu wanaangalia mbali so they are targeting us as much as we can hii ligi leo inaonekana ni ya kawaida i mean ni kubwa tayari lakini inaonekana bado kama inakuwa taratibu lakini wenzetu kwa sababu ilikuwa nikwambie i was uh, on the first conference ya mimi yani kwa moja waandishi nane waliopata nafasi ya kuingia kwenye mdahalo wa kwanza wa kujadili basketball Africa League ilikuwa Afrika ya Kusini alikuwa Amadu alikuwa Mark Tatum ambaye yeye ni makam commissioner naweza kusema alikuwa na commissioner wa NBA mwenyewe ambaye ni Adam Silver na waandishi kama nane na watendaji wengine wa, wa basketball wa NBA na Mariam na sasa hivi jina lake mentor ambaye alikuwa ni commissioner not, not commissioner alikuwa ni mtendaji mkuu wa FIBA ambao ndo the world government so, ni, ni, na, na, i think ni mzungu ile yeah, yeah, ni story yeah, yake sasa wali 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 ona kwenye yeah, yeah. event yeah, moja yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. kwa hiyo uh, i was honored to be there lakini nikwambia mpango ulikwaje the plan was 10 years mm. yani in 10 years nba inabidi tuwe na ligi ya afrika miaka kumi kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni kwa imewahi ame michele imewahi sana okay. na na ndo hapo mimi huwa na kagame is like a beast man Kagame alivosikia hiyo story tayari uh, Senegal kulikuwa anamaliza nadhani uwanja wao alipoenda kwenye ile UN conference akaomba kuonana na watendaji wa NBA that's like a true story yani akamwambia why do like in 10 years yani how comes it yani kwa nini Afrika huwa ni always mm, yeah, yeah, yani kwa nini Afrika always huwa ni mpango miaka kumi, mpango wa miaka 30 yani why not now kwa nini mipango yenu ni sasa hivi sasa hivi akasema let me show you one thing akasema we doing it in 2 years. Akamwambia really? Akamwambia akam, akam, sisi ndio tunasema 10 years we looking into infrastructure na nini akamwambia we doing it next year. Amerudi nyumbani kachusha ile arena in one year. Mm. Na, na, na ile arena no mai. Kigali arena one of the best arenas. Kweli? Eh yeah, yeah, aka akashusha in one year. Kashusha in one year uh, with the condition. And that's where he is a guru in marketing. Kwamba Yaani chezeni kote he give me the the the, the semi finals na finals. Afa akabarikiwa sasa na covid. Yaani kwa unajua covid wengine muathiri na kuna watu wamebariki ujue. Ah uh, 
kwa hiyo aka 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 covid ilipotokea ile hawezi sasa kusimajua ile kusafiri kwa ni ngumu mzigo wote ikabidi wamkabizi pale nyumbani kwake and you saw the impact na aka aka akasema aka visit Rwanda itakuwa moja wa dhamini afu akamtafuta aka Jeko Jeko on his speaker naenda ku launch album you remember yeah nakumbuka iko na noma sana he is very creative yeah. uh, Jeko naenda ku launch album kamuita kama kama ni idea yake ile <laughs> and he uses na ndo maana na na, na ndo maana is very good kwa sababu ana wizara lakini uh, the scent of creativity ameweka kwenye ile na uh, Rwanda inaitwa Rwanda Development ni Rwanda Development Board kitu kama hicho RDB whatever uh, ambayo inafanya maamuzi yani inatengeneza ideas na nini ndio inazi distribute kwenda kwenye wizara na nini umeona kwa hiyo ndio wanamleta Jeko when Jeko was going to launch an album yuko yupo Rwanda everybody now story Rwanda Shed room story Rwanda wapi, wapi yani Rwanda you know media zote za Marekani uh, na na na, na ndio maana kwa is very creative kwa sababu leo hii they, just a simple thing unajua sisi tuna 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 sokwe lakini wamejenga wametengeneza tu sehemu ya ku ya ku ya kuweza kuwalinda sokwe wasi yani wasiwe wasi, wasi distinct ikafanywa kampeni kubwa Helen kila siku anapambana ana, ana Ellen Helen DeGeneres. Mimi I wanted to bring Camelo Anthony. Uh mm-hmm. the NBA player like uh, two no last year. Uh kabla ya COVID kutokea. Camelo anasema one of the manager yake anambia one of the things anahitaji akimaliza shida yake Tanzania ende Rwanda. That's how big Rwanda is now. Mm. Yeah. Yaani yani ni sasa na uh, mwanamke umeongea naye alafu anasema anakuwa interested kuongea na mshikaji wako zaidi mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. ndio inavyo yeah, feeling yeah. yenyewe ndio mm, ile hivyo mm. okay ni, kuna muda ninikutajia uh, majina Hachizai. LeBron James mm. uh, Steve Curry pamoja na Giannis, na Giannis. Mm. Na, kwa 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 dakika fupi fu, uh, chache sana mm. nataka uwa distinguish kila moja umtumueleze ana uh, weakness na ude, na nguvu yake ni ipi nikianza na Steve Curry story ya kubwa ni nisa hivi naona na anaongelea ana, sana a, ame amevunja rekodi ya mm. all time three pointers oh kwa hiyo sasa ndo anaongoza na ameche, yani kwa michezo 511 less kwa hiyo yeye ndo anaongoza kwa kufunga point tatu nyingi sana the best story ya Stephen Curry kwa kifupi tu ni kwamba is relatable Yaani kafanya kila mtu amini I can play in the I can play basketball. Kwa kwa baba ni ni height ya ni, ni 63 mm. light skin uh, mdogo yani hata kiumbo ana misuli mingi unajua lakini one strength ana shoot three pointers. Kaibadilisha NBA NBA ile wa dunk yule. Yaani hata ukianza kuzitafuta utakuta ana tano labda. <laughs> Na NBA uh, Aliye mpita kipindi wanacheza wenzie attempts per game ya Ray Allen yeah. anakuta ana 8 three pointers yani ame attempt nyingi ana 8 asa bi Stephen Curry wala kuta ame attempt mara 16 three pointers kwa amebadilisha NBA hiyo ndio sifa ya, ya Steph yani he has revolutionized the game na he is the most lovable player pia yani kuta mtu anamchukia Steph ni ngumu LeBron yeye yeah, is a is a king uh, tangu yani LeBron story yake ni tangu yupo high school Uh, he was called the chosen one tangu high school kwa hiyo mmoja wa wachezaji ambao you can say ameishi kile kilichosemwa tangu mdogo ni LeBron kwa sababu LeBron amefanywa Marekani kufanywa sports illustrated kuwekwa kwenye ile bango la sports illustrated ile jarida you have to be amazing kwa hiyo alifanywa hiyo kwenye sports illustrated na wakawa wanajiuliza what do we call this uh, magazine yani title yake ni nini akaandika the chosen one na ika hapo hapo akaenda kutengeneza the chosen one akapiga tattoo mgongoni the chosen one imagine that pressure kwa mtoto wa miaka 19 and today tunaongelea uh, bingo mara nne NBA kaingia finali zaidi ya mara 10 ya ya karibia mara 10 NBA uh, an, 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 yuko kwenye pace ya kuwa mchezaji mwenye pointi nyingi zaidi NBA uh, ni king wa Cleveland king Miami king as I would say uh, is about to become a billionaire everything to him has gone straight anaingia kwenye ventures kama media hivyo yani on the other hand nitasema is uh, wanamuita the greek freak ni wale wachezaji ambao nobody thought will become whom he is today lakini uh, amekuwa 
alipitia adversity um, simu kabla msimu uliopita wakasema i want to win kwa sababu we can't shoot na nini lakini kept is is cool watu wanasema ondoka Milwaukee akasema siondoki na akaweza kushinda title last year uh, uki describe game yake ni game ambayo sio kila mtu anaweza ni mrefu 611 he can dribble he can press ni ana nguvu kwa hiyo is different yani ndio maana nasema Steph is relatable kwa sababu you cannot teach becoming LeBron sababu LeBron is 69 ni mkubwa LeBron ukikana hivi unaniweka mimi G2. na eh mkubwa sana umeona kwa mfano Kevin Durant ni mrefu tu yani yeye oh, yeah. ni kama fimbo mrefu sana LeBron ni massive G2 kweli yeah, yeah, kweli yeah, mkono yeah, ukiona hivi yeah, yeah. anapiga ana, ana gym sana kwa hiyo kama yeye sky ukisema leo mimi nataka nicheze eti idol wangu LeBron uwezi <laughs> yeah. kwa sababu you just different mm-hmm. lakini Steph hata mimi nikikaa hapa naanza kusema ah, Yeah, thank you Ezra. Na ndio maana wanasema Steph is hunting the by his hunting basketball. Sababu so, kids wanaamini kwamba ah kumbe dawa yeah, ni yote unaweza kucheza. Yeah, three points. Lakini kumbe shooting is an art. Na ndio maana hajai kutokea kama Steph. People are coming in the NBA and nobody becomes like Steph. Lakini LeBron is LeBron, Giannis is a Giannis, you cannot teach that. You cannot be Kevin Durant uh, 6-11 with a handle. You cannot be that. Kwa hiyo ndio maana Steph watu wanasema okay, ana maybe NBA, NBA sasa kila mtu anaamini ana shoot kila ndo maana sasa hivi mtu anza game inaisha team A ime shoot mara 30 team B ime shoot mara 30 zamani haikuepo wakina Jordan wanamaliza game t- combined kuno tu combined wame shoot yani combined eh. wame shoot mara 15 three pointers sasa hivi mauza 80 average ama 60 so the game does K- Chris Paul unaweza kumfananisha pia na na Steph <laughs> no so Chris, yeah, Chris Paul yeah Chris Paul is ni mdogo lakini okay, yeah. Yeah, Chris Paul is a uh, okay yani Chris Paul is a wanamuita point god kwamba Chris Paul ni old school yani anafanya majukumu yale old school kwamba zamani ilikuwa ni kwamba when you are point guard kazi yako ni kuhakikisha wachezaji wako wengine wote they are in a best position ya kufunga yani wewe kufunga yani haitaki kuwa wazo lako la kwanza wewe ni how do you manage the team yani kama yani Chris Paul ni kama director of operations kwamba aha so wewe utafanya hiki wewe utafanya hiki kama kwenye kampuni nasema ndio maana ya, ya, ya kazi anayofanya ndio anafunga lakini sio primary goal yake okay. primary goal yake ni ku distribute kuweka kuweka kwenye position rahisi zaidi awe kufunga mm-hmm. maisha yake yote Mwa, mwaka jana nadhani ama mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu mm. kulikuwa kuna frenzy yani wanamuongelea sana uh, draft uh, dogo moja draftiwa uh, Zion sasa hivi vipi anaendeleaje Zion <laughs> Zao ni moja ya vijana ambao they came in kubwa sana. Yeah, yeah, very big. Na watu wako na wasiwasi kwa sababu game yake ni inategemea zaidi physicality. Mm. Inategemea zaidi kuruka. He could fly for his weight. He could fly. Ah uh, unaongea na kilo kaibia 160, 170 probably. Kwa sababu sasa hivi wanasema ana 300 pounds. So that's too much. Sasa watu wakawa na na na, na, na question marks zime, zimejibu kweli kwa sababu watu wakawa nasema for that weight anavoruka kwa sababu sio mrefu sana. He's like 6465. 6, kwa anavoruka na danka na shuka kwa hiyo je, will your knees sustain your weight? Mm. Will your ankles sustain your weight? Na kweli mpaka sasa hivi uko nje ameumia amecheza game 85 tu kwa misimu mitatu. Na game na msimu mmoja na game yani kama uchezi playoffs is a game 82 kwa hiyo amecheza hajacheza hata moja ya tatu ya amecheza moja ya tatu ya ya nani ya mechi zotakiwa kucheza. Mm. Yeah so he's injured. Okay. Kawai. Kawai Leonard. Mm. Uh, unanifurahisha you know the players man. <laughs> Ka- Kawai Leonard um Kawai Leonard is that player ambaye aliingia kwenye ligi akiwa anasifika as a defensive player. And he's, he can lock you up like defensively lakini na, now sasa ni one of the best players ambao mm. wame wa, yani transcended players ambao wamebadilika and now they are one of the best offensive players mm. ambao yani unajua kuna wachezaji wanakuja uh, unamdescribe kwa namna nyingine alafu anaingia anabadilika ni kama Steph Wills Knight was scouting reports ni kama wanavyosema Steph Steph wakati anaingia unajua ametoka Davidson ame yani unajua maisha bwana Steph mtoto wananili wa mchezaji wa NBA It's very rare mchezaji wa NBA mwanae Del Curry alikuwa kukosa scholarship. It doesn't happen. Ila Steph ah mdogo sana. It just depends on shooting. Yeah. I, I, the NBA doesn't I mean the basketball itaji hivyo. 
akaenda college inaitwa Davidson ni ndogo kwanza tangu ameondoka haijulikani hata iko wapi akaibeba as a single player watu wanasema ah, Joseph Luke ah, Luke <laughs> kaingia hizo uh, scouting report ameingia imagine kuna timu ilikuwa ina picks mbili ila ikumchague Minnesota Timberwolves kwa hiyo wakaanza uh, Clippers wakamchukua Blake Griffin Memphis wakamchukua Shim Thabit uh, wakaja na nili wakaja OKC wakamchukua nadhani nadhani OKC yeah. kama sio kuna akaja okay tuseme akaja Tyreek Evans ambaye kwa mchezaji mzuri sana alishinda rookie of the year mwaka huo ila majeruhi amemua akaja James Harden akaja Rick Rubio sasa hao ndio Minnesota walikuwa na pick mbili ya ya, ya tano na ya sita wakamchukua Rick Rubio na udogo ni alitoka mapema sana kwenye ligi ni msao New York wajui New York is the home of basketball hawafanikii lakini you, you, Madison Square Garden bro no need ticket asali yeah no need ticket wanashangilia huko wanajua step for fall number 8 out of nowhere go the set warriors akasema ah, we taking step kwa hiyo kama ina ameingia kwenye ligi akaenda Indiana Indiana Pacers nadhani so it wasn't that akuwa na stock kubwa uh, San Antonio wakapeka waka waka mchezaji na some picks wao jamaa wakamwachia nobody saw him like an mvp caliber player nobody saw him kwamba anakuja ku dominate lakini ndio hivyo two times uh, finals mvp two championships na yeah he's, he's become like one of the best players. So, Umeona akaachana na Nike, akaingia akaenda kwa New Balance, anaenda 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 uh, Los Angeles Clippers. New Balance anapiga matangazo like hey the new king in town. Yaani <laughs> akiwa waki, waki mock LeBron. Okay. Lakini ndio hivyo he didn't live up to the hype. Uh, Wakafanya waka, waka vibaya sana mwaka jana. But mbaya ameumia tena. Kwa hiyo yuko nje sasa. Okay sawa. So. So nilikuwa nataka ni muulize ya maswali uh, uh, Coutinho ili uweze kumjua ni mtu gani kwenye basketball na bila shaka umethibitisha mwenyewe ana vingi sana na najua sana wachambuzi wengi wa sports Tanzania wamebase zaidi kwenye soka mm. um, ni wachache ambao wanafanya uh, michezo mingine hasa hasa basketball na hata kama anafanya mingine anafanya yeah. like juu juu zaidi kusoma yeah. tu report na nini lakini wewe unaishi basketball mm. Kwa nini mzee umeingia huko kwa sababu naona kwenye soka ndo kuna hela nyingi mabeti ni manini kwa nini umechagua uh, ku, ku concentrate kwenye basketball Again uh, mimi bwana I don't know nibadilika sana mm. uh, thinking na nibadilika na sio kwamba ufuatilii michezo mingine Na fanana kabisa oh, yeah. na leo pekee anacheza kichwa kinaniuma <laughs> Okay uh, um, it's crazy kwa sababu mimi passion yangu imeanza Okay nilikuwa napenda basketball level lakini high school ndo nimependa zaidi. Nikutana na rafiki yangu anaitwa Prince. Bora sana mimi basketball. That guy lived basketball. Ah. Uh, uh, Prince alikuwa uh, yani kwa maana kwanza mimi mwona sleeves za NBA kwa mtu. The long sleeves mtu anavaa hapa. Mm. Alikuwa na headbands. Alikuwa alikuwa atajiti Prince anajiita Camelo. Camelo. Camelo Anthony alikuwa anampenda sana Camelo as a scorer. So Prince akanipa jina mimi nikawa anaitwa Rondo. Mhm. Rondo huyo ambaye yuko Lakers sasa hivi kipindi cha yuko Celtics. Uh, mchezo wa basketball. Nakumbuka mimi Prince Celestine ni Castro. I can mention the names za kutosha umbwe high school moshi. Watu kwa gaga kipindi cha mazizi wanaenda kujia kwenye uwanja wa mpira wa miguu. Ila the intensity tulikuwa tunaiweka kwenye kucheza basketball pale. Ulikuwa kikuto unasema hapa ah, kuna timu mbili za labda kuna shule imekuja kucheza nini? Tukaanza kuhamisha wa kwanza washabiki wale. Mm-hmm. Wa pili Mwisho wa siku ule uwanja wa, wa football kule wakawa na baki wachezaji tu pale panajaa watu yani kuanzia mazoezi iwe ni suicide iwe ni layups ni nini na mpaka game ikafika same shule ilikuwa kwa sababu uwanja wetu ndio eneo la, la, la parade sisi tunaenda mazoezi walimu wakasema parade kuanzia sasa hivi mwe mnafanyia huko juu acheni vijana wacheze basketball yeah. so prince ni fanya sana nifuatilie ni and i was deep ah uh, yani nikawa nafuatilia sana so nimekuja ah uh, nimekuja uh, clouds nikaa kama mchambuzi and i'm like uh nikana angalia trend sasa everybody kila siku mimi nipo clouds nimeingia mimi nimekuta kuna wachambuzi kama wanne wa tano you all need to get in a cycle ya ratiba hapo hapo kuna watu wanataka opportunities wanakuja and they are good maelewa baadaye mimi nikamia kitengo cha mimi sasa hivi sipo kitengo cha michezo oh, how cool. kabisa nipo kitengo na ndio bana watu wanisikii sana labda tu niweze report zangu za basketball nipo kitengo cha mikakati na ubunifu Umeona. Uko na kina Ruben. Ruben Mimi, so after Ruben it's me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Kwa hiyo nimetoka 
So that changed changed my thinking. Okay. Uh, Nikanibadilisha kabisa namna ya kufikiri. I'm like ndoto yangu ni niitwe mchambuzi bora. Kila mmoja is running kwa kuitwa mchambuzi bora. And I'm like no that's not me. Uh mimi I wanna impact the community. Where how can I impact? Kuna kitu nakipenda na bachi watu wengine wakipendi ama wakifuatilii basketball. So let me take it. Kwa mimi nikaanza kujitoa taratibu kwenye hizi ratiba za soka za kuchambuzwa mpira nini mpaka sasa hivi sio kabisa na nikitaka nitakuepo kwenye ratiba ya uchambuzi lakini ratiba yote ya ya clouds ya, ya, ya uchambuzi mimi sipo labda itokee emergence waniombe nifanye na nini ndo naenda kufanya lakini sipo kwenye ratiba na kwa tuna labda na segment yangu dakika tano ya basketball I'm done nafanya vitu vingine so that's now kept me growing ndo mpaka tunafika kwenye seed kwa sababu nao sasa nikaa naanza projects project you do project for the office unaanza nitafanyaje project for myself umeona kwa ndo ile taratibu taratibu yeah ndo tuko hapo kabla hatujafika kwenye kwenye sweet kwenye seed mm. uh, ni, ni toe pia recognition nyingine kwa mchambuzi wa michezo ambaye naona pia ameenea sehemu zingine mm. Jeff Jeff yeah, yeah. Jeff naona pia basket yeah, yeah, wapi Jeff, Jeff is one of the yeah. Jeff ni mmoja wa watu ambao ni how do you call them ambidextrous Mm. Ajua, ukiwa, ukiwa, ukiwa mchezaji, ukiwa mchezaji ukiweza kutumia migumi miwili, yeah. unaitwa ambidextrous. Uh-huh. Kwamba Jeff is he can talk about basketball, he can talk vizuri kabisa. Pre- Precisely kabisa. Yeah. Football vizuri. Anafuatilia ni okay, Jeff ni mwanamichezo in short. Uh, kudos to him. Yeah, anafuatilia. Nipo naye kwenye groups nyingi na nini. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ingawa he's more into football lakini he sio kwamba he's not up to date. Na, na ni shabiki mkubwa Los Angeles Lakers. Mm. Kwa hiyo he's like into basketball. Mwi, ni, mwingine ambaye mwingine ambaye I can say ambaye uh, Edgar Kiwana anajitahidi. Uh, Jacob Mbuya anapenda boxing sana yeah, sio sana, sana. Yeah, na, boxing news na. nyingi za boxing za loko na zipataka yeah, kwake pia ya yeah, Jacob Mbuya uh, tupatupa yeah, yeah. anapenda mbio za magari tupatupa paka enda kushiriki mbio za magari eh <laughs> uh, huko kwingine na sema, sema nikupe incident moja ya tupatupa mm ambacho yuko unique anaweza ku connect situation yoyote yeah, na soka na kumbuka nilialikwa clouds pale mm. pindi mina mm. na zindua mm. ile mm. uh, documentary mm. yake mm. sasa kulikuwa kuna leso pale still kuaje kujifuta mm. swimming alikuwa nayo mm. mina pale akasema akaongea ile afa mm. akarelate akasema siku ambayo uh, Uh, nani Messi anaaga Barcelona alivolia mm, ile mm. leso yake aliyokuwa anajifuta ile pale mm. ili isiliingia eBay ama wapi kapigwa mnada kwa hela nyingi sana kwa hiyo napendaga yani ile uwezo wa yeye yeah, connect no, situation so, fulani na soka tu, tupa, tupa is, is different i yeah. cannot call him a, a presenter mimi namuitaga an artist mm. uh, ile ni art you cannot teach that i cannot do it it comes natural kwa kwa yeye kwamba anaweza ku connect matukio mpaka wasema okay i would have done this you know unawaza mbona hata mimi ningeza kufanya lakini ukuifikiria rather than he thinks about it anaweza kuchukua muziki akachanganya na michezo anaweza ka rap is a good rapper anaweza ka rap ndio mimi namuitaga ni ni artist ambaye yupo kwenye uh, kiwanda cha utangazaji mm. because he can put ni kama adam mchomvu i remember tulikuwa kama i think kwenye event namna alivyofanya intro you be like okay <laughs> angekuwa mtangazaji mwingine hapa angesema yo kama niaje lakini yeye yeah, alichukua ile kama akaitoa huko ana rap like a freestyle eh, eh. akaitoa akaitoa akawa anazungumza nao makabila yao anachana na wengine i'm like dude how did you even think about that i'm like kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingine vipaji you cannot uh, you cannot teach it ni mtu anazaliwa nacho anakuwa nacho hivyo tupatupa is good at it kwa hiyo ni ni hata ukimsikiliza kwenye nje ya chaki mimi nikiendaga ku replace naonaga na poaya eh, yeah kwa sababu mimi nitaingia nitasema ah kuna kitu fulani kimejitokeza hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi I will try to be kama XXL kind of kuleta yeah, entertainment yeah, yeah. kuchanganya huko na lakini sio kwa style yake it's just different yeah. na 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 I would say hukum replace ni ngumu ni kama ni kama alivyokuaga anafanya ile mtawa tatu kwenye sports extra ana ana anachukua maneno ya kwa mfano alichukua maneno ya JK huko anaipiga yanga. Ye, JK kwa anazungumza vitu vingine kabisa. Okay. Yeye yeah, akawa anachukua. Kwa hiyo unasema yanga wata, watafungwa ngapi? JK alitamka neno tatu. Eh? Tatu. Si nini nini. So he's talented in that. So you cannot kudos. Yaani he is very good. Mimi uh, huwa na sema siku hizi. Uchuoni watangazaji wengi wanaochipukia 
wengi naona na, bado kwenye burudani. Yaani hata DM ambazo nazipata za watangazaji ambao wanataka niwasaidie ni entertainment. Na wahurumia kwa sababu hakuna michongo. Michongo naona iko kwenye sports. Naona hizi makampuni ya betting kama yote sasa hivi. Kuna mtu mmoja akawa ananiambia kwamba alikuwa anatafuta, alikuwa na idea na mtu. Alikuwa na idea na tupa tupa by the way. Akai kwenda kwenye kampuni fulani waka ile idea ishakubalika ni proposal sawa lakini kuna kampuni anayofanya nao kazi ikamongezea uh, mkataba mwingine tena kwa kudabo nadhani kila wanachomlipa kwa akasema imekuwa ngumu sana kumpata mtu mwingine katika hawa wachambuzi ambao tunawafahamu wana majina makubwa ambaye hana mkataba na kampuni hizi za beti na makampuni ya sport you know, sponsor uh, michezo naona hela iko kwenye sports mzee unawaambiaje wa watangazaji ambao wana hamu ya kuingia kwenye ukiachana na tech ukiachana na tech yeah duniani ukiachana na tech kiona kinachokuwa kwa kasi zaidi ni michezo kwa sababu ukiacha wachezaji kuna makampuni yanayowekeza sports squeeze na entertainment zinaenda pamoja ndio maana kwenye unakuta kwenye NBA game ndani pale halftime show msanii unaangalia leo ni story kubwa super bowl na nili nani dr dre Eminem uh, na Kendrick Lamar wanaenda kuimba it's a big deal. Ah uh, ndio awalipwagi unajua Super Bowl mm-hmm, yeah. perform lakini unapewa faida ya pale ni noma. Nakumbuka the person ambaye nadhani ali break the records ya kwa ni Lady Gaga. Ah uh, mauzo yake yalipanda kwa asilimia moja na tano just after coming down the Atari. Uh, yani baada ya kushuka tu stage in. Lakini duniani kote okay, unaanga the World Cup Wasanina, entertainment, entertainment lazima iwepo. Kwa yeah. hiyo bahati mbaya ni kwambie nakumbuka tu we discuss this last time in ayewe mm. tuko tunaongelea um, ni mfumo sio tu na sio tu kwenye kuja kwa kwa waandishi wa habari ni mfumo uh, kwa maana ya vijana wengi kwa sababu wanakuona sky unafanya entertainment na anaisa na sauti na karibiana na ayewe anaisa okay i can be sky but then you can not sky mm. is sky continue is continue you need to get your own identity na kupata your own identity i don't mind ukitaka kufanya entertainment lakini unaifanyaje what kitu kipya kipi unachokileta in which way unachokileta so that that means no mind kasema sisi wengi tukikaa hata darasani even in marketing kwa nini watu wengi wanasema kwamba wanatoka vijana wengi marketing lakini they are not marketers kwa sababu they read books like dunia imeshahama sasa hivi sikizi kuna digital marketing Uh, siku hizi kuna sijui uh, uh, mtu anakuambia kuna narrow influences yani ni kwamba sky una, una followers milioni lakini no you cannot push my brand kuna mtu ana followers f tu ila i'm sure i can push my brand so siku hizi una, unaenda kwenye kampuni I, I, i won't say the names unaona kabisa huyu influencer followers wake wengi huyo ni marketer ameajiriwa na kampuni ndio maana kuambia ni hata wanaokufuata DM ni market ameajiriwa na kampuni si ndio anatafuta influencer ambaye yeye kabisa anajua kabisa akisomaga comment za watu waliomfollow ni comment za ajabu ajabu alafu tuseme unaenda kusema akuuzie V8 anakuuzia yeah, exactly. umeelewa so, so ni ni, ni soko ambalo tumeshindwa ku, kuandaa vijana hata kwenye uh, kwenye 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 hicho anachokisema ni kwamba do they, are they told kwamba you need to the market is saturated you need to find a way out kwamba ndio mimi nikitoka what am i gonna do outside kwa sababu mimi nikwambie kijana akitoka chuo leo hii akienda tuseme ina ina, ina company usiwasema ajira hamna lakini if you go out na kusema kwamba nyie mna tatizo 1 2 3 4 5 mimi na, na, na let me work with you this is what i'm gonna bring on the table nobody anakukatalia Unaweza sikupe mkataba moja kwa moja lakini showers. Ukisubiri zile kwamba tuna we are hiring now that's different. Kwa hiyo vijana wengi uh, tume hata mimi I was mimi mimi I'm telling you if I didn't go to college na nikakutana na Ruge at the early age. I, I college umesoma wapi? Sure. Na umesoma nini? Nimesoma rural development. Okay. Yeah, uh ndio maana I'm a very community person, I'm a social person in terms ya kusaidia jamii. Yaani nasema tu kwamba ningekutana na Ruge two years earlier mm. nikafanya naye kazi. All my thinking as hivi creativity uh, doing stuff na nini. Mimi sijaye hata kuchukua cheti changu to be honest. Sijaye kukifata. Ma- Maki huoni ukikitumia kwenye kitumia. kwenye ajira. Yeah, kwa ni, ni, ni kitu kikubwa ambacho nimesema nime, nime nimekiona ni kwamba what Ruge told me in two years 
nikabidi ni learn it kwa sababu kama ni mambo ya uchumi concept yangu niliyosoma HG shule was more than enough <laughs> See, so everything if i'm trying to bring up stuff cuz younganisha like bring a concept out uh trying i'm tr- trying to be a sales person doing marketing doing events everything i've learned it under his arm yani alikuwa anifundisha practically and you learn kwamba the way he brings up ideas na kumbuka masiku tulikuwa zaidi ya 15 kwenye chumba we trying to brainstorm an idea tukaja na idea hiyo tunaiona sisi ndio kalibala <laughs> Afa kaja katuangalia akasema hivi kwani mngefanya hivi Bro eh im, do you know like you huyu ni kichwa kimoja and we are 15 in here and we didn't think of what you thinking ah kwa hiyo like you learn so i'm like kama tungekuwa tuna uwezo wa kufundisha life skills shule it would have been very important yani na, ni mimi nilinge recommend iliwe somo kabisa study za maisha know your purpose mm ndio you wanna be unataka kuwa mchumi lakini what do you wanna do uchumi is glow is is very huge in what scope do you wanna go do je unataka kuwa mchumi in terms of uh, unataka kuandika thesis uwe mwalimu wa uchumi je do you wanna do uchumi kwa maana kwamba you wanna go in a company na ku elevate uh, do you wanna do uchumi je you know like do you wanna do uchumi kwamba i wanna write books <laughs> oh yote ni uchumi kwa sababu Loi uh, Kiyosaki anapiga hela kwa kuandika vitabu na nili uh, Buffett ni mfanyabiashara wote ni wachumi si ndio uh, mwingine ni CEO wa kampuni ni, ni, ni mchumi si, so you need to have that goal kwamba what do I, what do I, na, na sisi watufundishwi unaingia tuchuo okay uh, mimi nasoma rural development so inako kubwa kwamba hivi nikitoka hapa naweza kuajiriwa wapi Now, and that's a very wrong question. It has to be nikitoka hapa who am I gonna be? Mm. Do I want to be a CEO? Do I want to be a marketing director? Do I want to be uh, a business person an entrepreneur kwa kifupi? Do I want to be a musician? Cuz I'm all the goals. Kuna wasomi wengi wana fai nikasoma, right? Lakini here this goal. Kwa hiyo atufundishwe study za maisha, atufundishwe malengo. Hilo ndo kosa kubwa ambalo lipo kwenye elimu yetu. And that's what we're missing. Kwa hiyo ukiwa unamfundisha mtu anaamini kwamba i want to be a marketing manager kwenye kampuni that means akiwa anatoka shule the thing is doing ni ku learn about the trends the marketing how does the market work inaendaje how does the media influence market how does social media influence marketing how is the digital world as well sababu social media ni kitu kimoja digital world is is huge how you get it so now that becomes his thinking tangu ndio anasoma darasani lakini what is exploring now inaenda kwenye malengo yake na ndoto zake lakini sasa hivi bro na kwa wewe upo darasani ndio unasoma marketing unaanza kuwaza five five nini 5 p's yeah <laughs> bro lakini ndio hivyo lakini it's a very big thing yani mimi i would recommend life skills Okay, we can call life skills ama tu na somo la malengo tu okay. which is very easy. Kama tunasoma uh, general is it general studies uh unafundishwa about the country and everything. You can still add that subject. Na ikawa ni compulsory. Ambao ni mtu anafund you just learn kwamba you the keys to your success kutokana na chochote tunachokisoma. It's 1 2 3 4 5. Know your purpose, know the way either itakuwa na mabonde gani inaitapitikaje know the mode of transport you're going to take know the people you have to work with and at the end know what you need to invest done kwa mtu akitoka anajua kabisa mimi bana hapa mimi hapa a a uko kwingine kote acha wangaike mimi target yangu lazima niingie pressure alibi okay so Tumalizie kabla hujaenda break. Um, nataka nipe seed Tanzania uh, uh, segment mm. yake kabisa. Mm. Wa, unafanyaje kuwa hii ni kama hizi ni kama tips ama mm. kama ushauri kwa mm. wachambuzi wa mm. michezo mm. au sio. Unakuwaje bora? Unafanya nini uwe bora? Uh, first uh, Okay, mi nitamtolea nita mtu mfano. Mm. Uh, Priva Yipo clouds privadinho 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 ambacho mimi hata naamini hii haja fulfill potential 
na ni kitu ambacho akiamua kukifanya is gonna be massive. Mm. Ameamua kuwa mchambuzi. Ila mimi ningemwambia awe kama Fabrizio Romano. Kwa sababu that's what brought him to the attention of people. Alikuwa na details za ndani. Mm. Kwa kwenye kwenye so, kwenye soka tunai Fabrizio kwenye basketball tunao ni watu gani Fabrizio ni wapi Fabrizio ni Muitali anachambua soka la Italia Anachambui anafanya nini Yeye kazi yake ni taarifa Okay Yaani yani, anakuja na facts very too. trusted yani oh. ni kwamba akikwambia leo Ronaldo anaondoka na ni kweli ni kweli ameamsha Okay akikwambia kocha fulani anafukuzwa ni kweli anafukuzwa Anazo wale ndio za ndani zile wanaitwa the sources yani wana sources Okay So okay, the, sources comes in the network So manake ni kwamba wewe kazi yako unatoka kabisa huko kwenye uchambuzi. Yaani unaachana na hizi story sasa za unajua uchambuzi mara umetukana na mara nini? Eh sana, povu jingi e, sana. Yaani wewe kazi yako <laughs> kama ni priva ni kwamba eh amukoko tonombe anaondoka Yanga. Mm. Yaani unaangalia pale Simba Yanga yani hivi chama anarudi Simba. Yaani ukitamka kitu na hizo unazipata wewe kwanza. Wewe kwanza. Ndio maana na ni NBA yupo mtu anaitwa Woj. Atari Az, azungumzi mpaka awe na uhakika. Okay. Mimi nishaimkuta and that's when I learned. Na nilikuwa nimekaa naye na nili hotelini uh, North Carolina. Ah, naangalia mail zake. Naona Masai Ujiri, naona mtendaji na nili uh, mtendaji wa wa Lakers the top ones. Wana contact. Mm, ndio yani ndio anawauliza. Kwa hiyo akiuliza kitu wenyewe anakum. Na uh, si yeye yeah, anachosema tu sources tell me. Yeah. I reveal ni nani kamwambia. Ah, okay. So waina wale watu maana ni kwamba wanakuwa wana zile. Yaani kwamba yeye yeah, privilege kwa ana fara. connection. Yeah, ukipiga simu kwa Barbara, Barbara anapokea faster. Yeah. Yeah, kuna hiki na hiki ni kweli. Eh hey, bwana ni kweli. Hapo. Ah, twin twin tweet. Kila kila unachosema ni exclusive. Ni exclusive. Yeah, a better word. Yeah. Yani, yani a better word. Lakini mchambuzi kama mchambuzi kama na lazima uje identify jewe ni mwanahabari ama mchambuzi that's number one mwanahabari anafuata ethics za habari unakuwa mtangazaji unakuwa nini that's number one mchambuzi do your research shida wachambuzi wengi sasa hivi ah, they just watch football akitoka ameingia kwenye mic mm-hmm. you need to do your research nampenda George Mbangile he does a lot of research oh uh, ana anafuatilia comes unajua kuna ile ladha uh, maneno mapya a uh, vitu vipya unajua kijifunza shida sisi tunaamini utangazaji uchambuzi ni umeangalia tu hivi umesikiliza mchambuzi fulani amesemaje you're done lakini it's, glo- it's it's very big do you read do you know the rules uh, can you make a person kwa lugha nyepesi sana aelewe yani usizunguke can you make a person kwa lugha nyepesi kama wewe yani inabidi ufikirie kwamba tuseme sky kama tulikuwa tunaongelea basketball hapo Tuseme Sky hajui mpira. Ila would want to listen to you na chambua. Ruge ndio alikuwa anasema hivyo. Ah bana. Mimi <laughs> mmekaa hapo unazungumza sijui fanta nini sijui nini. Mimi naelewa wapi? Wewe niambie ule mpira ulipigwa kona. <laughs> akapiga kichwa. Ukianza kuniambia sijui ananeli a, a, fl- a flying head. Na mimi najulia wapi? Mimi sijui mpira. Niambie kile kichwa kilipopigwa <laughs> kilienda kushoto kika so in in simple terms ili uh, uh, mtu wa kawaida aweze kuelewa yeah. so uh, si shida sasa sisi wachambuzi unataka yani uh, yale unayosoma yale maruga konki yale sasa ni unaamini ukiyasema yale yani wewe ndo bingwa kabisa lakini pia kuna kitu kinaitwa art kwa bongo mtu mwenye art ende kumwembe mhm ana art tatari ana art uh, uchambuzi ndio hicho unachosema choose your position Edo is very good. Yaani Edo angekuwa mimi I like him when he writes more. So na kuna kitu nyinyi mmefanya tena tena utawasaidia waandishi wengi. Nyinyi mmefanya sana Sky when back in uh, back in your days. Mm. I, ulikuwa ga I'm freestyle. Yeah sure. Script. Unapiga script yako imenyoka mm. hivi. U, mtu anayekusikiliza kwenye radio ana enjoy. Anaisi anaisi una, unaongea kawaida but then wewe una follow script. Lakini sikuizi Ah, ukimwambia mtu follow script anaona kama unamzingua una, una tu. Na yani if Edo was anachokichambua angekuwa anakiandika pre pre pre, 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 pre scripted. Mm. Alafu ana, anazungumza, yani kwa kukisoma it would have been massive. Kwa sababu nimesoma hata post yake ya mambo ya Simba ya nini. He's like I'm like, yo, that's talent. You don't teach that. Kwa hiyo ya, kwa hiyo ni, ni kama tu watu wanazungumza kwenye kazi. So just know whom you are, know your strengths 
na una target nani unataka kuzungumza nini na pia mwisho wa siku unajitofautishaje na wengine ukibaki kwa kawaida utakuwa tu mchambuzi maarufu followers and everything but then no exclusivity unaweza kaamua kuwa kama shafi you cannot tell who is he anapenda vita ama apendi hujui yani like a character you become a character yani character mm-hmm. kwa hiyo yeah so that is nani is crazy shafi hata i'm not one mc is a is a controversial controversy that's his signature kwa what's your signature that's the thing okay a Edgar Kibwana was Mr. Syria. Mimi hata Kibwana asipoongea EPL sijui nini nini. I would love kumsikiliza Edgar Kibwana talking about. Anajua vizuri sana. Kwa sababu Edgar akiwa anakuchambulia Syria it's yeah. different ndio maana kuambia. Akiwa anakuchambulia Syria atakwambia atakwambia akati anaanza kuchambua sasa. Tuseme 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 Juventus na AC Milan wametoka bila bila au moja bila. Ataanza kukwambia katika mji wa Naples ndiko alikozaliwa <laughs> sijui nani nani baada ya mama yake kumzaa akaamua kusafiri umbali wa kilomita mia sita akapeka mtoto akapokelewa na mzee fulani yule mzee akamwambia yule mtoto you gonna become big nani so uko unasikiliza you like okay Unajua zile oh uh, jamaa ameshita nini unajua kumbe no but then anafuatilia na nini eliga akiwa anaongea kuhusu siria is, is like preaching Yaani ni kama mtu anakufanyia ni kama ushaona mchungaji yule ambaye ana flow anakufanyia preaching and you like yeah neno nimelipata asante baba unajua okay. toe sadaka ni stoe <laughs> ndio eliga so like kama like, ile ndio ilikuwa strength yake kubwa na hata kesho kutwa akiamua atafanye like digital hivi mm. youtube yeah. just syria you get massive followers massive okay yeah yeye ndio hivyo kwa sababu yeah. soko linatuhitaji ufanye hiki ufanye hiki ufanye vingi sasa uh, continue na uh, kuja kuzungumza naye katika break uh, baada break kuhusiana na si Tanzania na basketball Tanzania ikoje kuna mengi pia katika uh, sehemu hiyo so na mimi nitakuwa nasi tena <tune>